Now, you said something really interesting that has come up as a topic of conversation for me many times in the last couple months. You said, just go to Claude and it'll whip up an app for you. And, you know, there's this new term vibe coding, you know, where you're just kind of having the AI code for you. Really, you're, you're not understanding what it's doing um, unless you're a developer like you and I, where we understand the fundamentals of programming and databases and architecture and how APIs work. If you don't know what any of that is and you don't know what it means and you're just having a, an AI whip up an app for you, this vibe coding situation, how scalable is that going to be? How successful are you going to be? I mean, I'm hearing things about soon there's going to be programmers being hired to fix all the vibe coding <laughs> eventually. That's going to be the new job is like all you companies use AI to code your apps and now we really have to hire people specifically just to fix them. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? Yeah, and that is prompt engineering relies on the ability of the person asking the question to know which questions to ask. You brought up scalability, you brought up maybe um, an ability to extend an application, uh, the way that you modify something and maintain it. So those are all architectural questions that you learn as you put things into production and operate them at scale. So, um, I, I do think that by the time you would get to the point that you're running a business based on a product, you would have people on staff that know how to ask those questions. Mm. And, and, you know, that's really, you don't want to, anyone can build a house out of Legos, but yeah. I don't think very many people want to live in a house that's yeah. made out of Legos. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> <laughs> the house of cards will topple over eventually. Makes a lot of sense. And those Legos hurt your feet when you when you step on them. So yeah, I totally get that. So let's go back to open source for a second because it's something that I, I feel like most people don't talk about these days. It's not really an interesting topic. Like AI is really taking over. But let's talk about open source. And if you've seen companies try to use open source technologies, is there a mistake that they're making when they use it? The primary mistake is lack of awareness. And it hasn't been that long ago that I've spoken with companies that just say, we don't do open source. And then I would say, you have a website, you rely certainly on the JavaScript ecosystem. HTML, so, CSS, bootstrap, yeah. right? And then, you know, if you are reading headlines, you do see what are called supply chain attacks on the open source ecosystem. Right. So if you don't know your dependencies, that's dangerous because you could be depending on something that's got a vulnerability. 